Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So be honest, did you click on this video because of the thumbnail or the title? Either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to talk about both in this video and we're starting right now. Welcome back guys and before we begin today's video a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members without whom this channel wouldn't be possible. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and the channel. Okay so let's talk about some things guys. So in my second to last video about how Zoss is exploiting you in your player base I stand by what I said in that video. I am not going to say I'm sorry for any of it but I could have went about it a little bit of a less offensive and direct way. I'm Rich Lambert, not the best streamer as you guys know. I went back to look some of his, you know, recent Twitch, you know, vods, and uh, he, he's not that good of a streamer. I mean, neither am I. I mean, I mean, and let's be honest, most people in the ESO community, uh, we're we're learning, right? You know, we're we're still learning. I mean, we're no doctor of disrespect, right? So, with that being said, I don't really think Rich Lambert deserves all the criticism I gave him, even though his unprofessionalism is not cool. Like, if you're going to stream, like, you need to be professional and respond to people and criticism in a professional way, which he did not, which is one of my biggest gripes about my last video, is because there is a way you talk to people, there's a way you articulate your ideas. And him literally being the face of Zenimax, like, it does not bode well for the company if your lead creative developer is acting like that. So even though Zoss has done a lot of bad things or just kind of ignored a lot of issues that are going on in ESO, they also have technically accomplished a lot of things. Not necessarily what we tell them to focus on, what the community wants per se, but they have done a lot. And I think in this video, we're going to praise Zoss a little bit. Not too much, we're, we're not going to inflate through you, you know, all too much, but they have, you know, credit is due where it's due, right? So, first of which, uh, this year, they've probably done the most they ever have, right? So, um, let's go ahead and talk about PvP balancing real quick. So, I've played this game every single patch for the past seven years. There, there's always a patch where, you know, it's, it, it's one class is super rogue and one class is, you know, it's super, super underwhelming. But this patch, everything seems pretty well rounded. Though the macro and the magnum does need a little bit of love. And I'm not just saying this because I'm biased, because the Dragonite got a lot of love, right? I was already kicking ass on Dragonite before this patch came around. This just made it a little bit easier for me to do so. But when I look at PvP in its you know state of PvP right now, proc sets aren't, you know, too terrible unless you really, really spec into it. We've all been ganked by the stamina blades and mag blades. I mean it happens. That's the entire build after their burst, they're, they're done though, right? I cannot think of a single class or really ability or set in the game to where I'm like, man, that's that needs tuned down. Besides Iron Blood, I, Iron Blood is OP. Please don't nerf Zoss, thank you. I, I really don't know, guys. I'm sure you guys will have your opinions on that. I look forward to seeing them down in the comments, trust me. But I feel that the game is really, really balanced. So uh, kudos to them for the class balances and, and the class changes. I still think Cloak needs a little bit of a nerf, but uh, that's because I'm biased toward Nightblades. So that's PvP. Now, Crown Store. Crown Store is hit and miss. There are right ways to monetize your products and then there are wrong ways. So 90% of the Crown Store is okay. It's cosmetics, it's mounts, you know, it's gambling. I, I know people with gambling addictions, you know, that's that's not okay. You know, they, they're, they're, there's no disclaimer on how you can, you know, for example, respect scrolls and Crown Gems. There's no disclaimer on how to actually find these in game unless you are actively looking for it. Which brings me, you know, kind of, kind of to my next point with we'll tie in. There's a help feature in the game I didn't even know until like a few days ago after posting the Rich Lambert uh, rant that I had. So yeah, there's actually a pretty decent little help system in the game, which uh, wish I knew about that earlier. But uh, you know, kind of back to my point about the Crown Store. Um, you look at the thumbnail, I said, everything in the Crown Crates are free. Well, that's technically true. So they introduced what's called Seals of Endeavor. And literally every single item that you could possibly want from Crown Crates you know, it they're free. You, you just have to grind for them. Yeah, yeah, you're not going to get them instantaneously, right? And that kind of plays into the whole um, paying for convenience type of thing. Kind of Genjin Impact, you know, the, the whole gotcha gaming scenario. Um, that's kind of what ESO is doing in like a pseudo way. But they do deserve a little credit where credit is due, right? You can technically earn all of this free. It just takes time. Like, these guys can't work for free. I get it. I get it, right? 
but the option is there to do it for free. You don't necessarily have to buy them as Rich Lambert says. What I have an issue with guys is when you do not tell the new players you're trying to bring in that there are alternatives so they don't necessarily have to put their hard earned cash into the game for something you can get in literally minutes instead of paying seven or eight dollars for. And just let me reiterate one more time about the whole Rich Lambert attitude, right? He's not the best streamer, like, I get that. And I don't want everyone to assume that Zenimax is trash because there's a lot of people behind the scenes working on things that, you know, we don't know of. There's all, all kinds of bug fixes. I don't want his terrible unprofessionalism to kind of set a tone for the entire company as a whole. And not everyone's like that. Not all the devs are like that, at least I would hope not and give credit to the other guys working behind the scenes as well. Okay, so next point I wanna kinda of go over is the career tab on Zenimax homepage. Now, you guys may think that they're only interested in art design and artists and you know, whatever for the crown store. Well, that's not necessarily true. So we can go take a look at the career tab. There are, uh, let me count here, there are 22 openings for art related or design positions, right? But take a look at the engineering tab. There's just as many as engineering positions as there are art and design so you may say well they already have all the artists that they need well also take into account that artists are probably paid like half of what the engineers are i mean i don't know that for a fact but you know i'm not trying to toot my own horn but i th that's that's just how it is and the whole art and design stuff is just generally a lot easier to work on because you have a template for it you just gotta edit you know do your own thing now when it comes to the whole client side and hardware software c++ programming coding all that now that that is an absolute shit show which i you know rats off you know hats off to these guys you know the skeleton crew working on this stuff behind the scenes which i know there are right i, I mean they have to be otherwise you know why isn't lag worse right it could be better right but you know that's not here nor there but what i'm trying to get at is they do have positions out there. So guys, if you're watching this video and you have any kind of coding background or software engineer, apply for these positions, right? I mean, I apply my applications out there. Um, so they're not gonna hire me because you know, I have spoken pretty terribly about the company and yeah, but they're there. They're actually trying to recruit. So it's not like they are just trying to necessarily cash out, which I did say in my last video, which is kind of kind of rough to say but you know at the time i'm very passionate and emotional about this game and i just wanted to succeed so on the surface that's just what kind of looks like but if you do a little bit of a delve you do see that they are trying to actually fix some of the problems behind the scene whether they tell you that or not so having a roadmap guys is awesome if anyone's listening to this please give us a roadmap it doesn't matter if you plan on fixing any of the bugs or anything anyway just have something we can visually look at and be like okay here's here's what's talked about here's what we may work on you don't necessarily have to give us a date just acknowledge that you are taking what we say into consideration and just update us you know monthly or whatever like a monthly twab or you know something of that nature and to kind of reinforce the idea that they are actually working behind the scenes on issues that we don't necessarily bring to light so uh, pay attention to them banning uh the but three or four hundred accounts I, I forget exactly how many accounts they ban but they banned them for exploiting and botting. So I would assume the majority is botting, but if you guys watch my video on how to abuse a Scoria bug to how to literally have like 10, 20 meatballs come and crash down on whoever you target at any point in time with a click of a button, well, they banned a lot of people performing those exploits as well, which was pretty cool. I didn't know that I was even being worked on. And to be honest, like it wasn't really advertised, it just kind of swept underneath the rugs, but uh, they did do a good job in going about that. Now, is it something the community necessarily wanted or needed? Maybe not, but at least it is something. The next point I wanna bring up is a, a, a huge, huge quality of life addition to a console, which, which is the armory system. I've even found this to be really advantageous on PC as well. So on PC, we have add-ons like inventory insights, and you know you, you can change all your sets, whatever, with, a, with an add-on. But in, what the armory system does, so it gives console players the ability to do that, but it also gives you the ability to get free respects, like when you, your attribute points, your skill points, your, you know, whatever. So every time I do a full respect, it probably costs me like 20K worth of gold to do a full respect on character. Well, if you use the armory system, what you can do is your two armory slots that you have, the very first slot, you can save that as a complete blank slate. Don't skill any of your champion points, don't skill attribute points, do not skill your skill points and save that as a blank plate. So anytime you need to completely reset your character, just load up that 
quote unquote build, right? And now you completely respect your character with zero gold cost. So that's like a little niche thing with the armory system, but I found that to be uh, really awesome. And of course the armory system, you can buy other slots, you know, again, convenience thing that they have to make money somehow. So I get that. So the armory system was a huge quality of life. And I, I just think people forgot to really mention that, but the, they did do a really good job on that. So kudos to you guys. And also not to mention this Gold Harbor House I'm in right now is technically free as long as you complete the quest. So yes, you can buy this on Crown Store, but if you want to take the time and do the quest, you can actually buy this in in-game gold as well. So there's that. And one of the last things I want to kind of mention here, um, Zoss and you know, Zemax does do a lot of in-game events, um, such as the, the New Year event or whatever it's coming up. The, the New Life Festival is what it's called, like coming up you know, this week, or maybe it's already live. I don't really know. But there's a lot of cool free stuff you can get in that too, including like an Oblivion House, pets, you know, just as long as you grind. And again, of course I'm trying to do recording, my phone goes off, right? But again, there is a whole, you know, pay the convenience thing. Yeah, you can buy your tickets or whatever, you know, with real game cash. Those micro transactions transactions are perfectly fine. So why am I even bringing all this up? So kind of moral of the story is like everything's, you know, kind of technically free. Anything you need to play this game is free. Um, what is not free, unfortunately, is knowledge to new players at the beginning of the game. No one really knows what's going on. Me taking a look at the crown store, I would have foolishly bought a lot of items from the crown store without knowing that you could actually get them in game for next to nothing or from other players for free. So um, just tossing all this information out there, out there guys. I had a little bit of time to reflect on kind of what I said. And again, in closing, I was a little harsh on Rich Lambert, you know, calling a spade a spade. Well, you know, um, if you're going to stream, Take some classes, watch some YouTube, do something, man. Like, I appreciate you doing what you can in your position and being, you know, as positive as you can, you know, with everyone, you know, I'm sure you get 20 questions a day about PVP when everything's gonna change and you're tired of hearing it. I understand that. So guys, give Rich, give Rich, uh, you know, a little bit easier time. You know, everyone has bad days. Holidays is coming up a uh, little tidbit. Statistically, Christmas is the most suicidal time of the year, so uh, put that in your stocking and smoke it. You know, so treat everyone with respect, guys. You know, especially down in the comments. Try to keep everything positive and constructive. And that's really all I had to say. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Horcrux, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. Peace.